So this week we are down in West Texas at the Cibolo Creek Ranch. This ranch is absolutely amazing. It was originated in 1857. It is over 30,000 acres here, tons of game species, but we are after Audad. This is my first opportunity ever to come down to West Texas to hunt Audad, and I'm very, very excited to get out get to hunting, but mainly I'm excited to test the new 7PRC. The 7mm PRC started kind of as a project of passion for a few of us uh, back around 2018, 2019 is when we first started playing around with that. Uh, and then unfortunately COVID and a bunch of other things happened that really just slammed the industry. Uh, and so a lot of projects took a lot longer than we, we would have liked for them to. Uh, but yeah, it's been, been about three years in the works now. You know, much like the 6.5 PRC or the 300 PRC that you've probably already seen, Hornaday came out and said, you know what, we've done these rounds, now it's time to make a fast seven millimeter. We got the invite from Altera Arms out of Idaho. So Altera Arms have two different rifles down here this week. We chose two different platforms of rifles uh, for the event. Uh, the Altera Carbon, which is our flagship rifle that we started the company with, and also our Mountain Shadow Carbon, uh, which is our number one best-selling rifle. Um, so both of these rifles do sport uh, carbon six uh, carbon barrels. So the combination of using carbon six barrels, the Callus scopes, and the Altera platform, um, we were able to build rifles that were just that performed just uh, amazingly. Uh, all the rifles shot sub uh, half inch with the, uh, with the factory ammo from Hornaday and uh, we got some incredible shots out to even a mile. Instantly we figured out that these rifles are crazy accurate within I think 10 shots of shooting this rifle getting it zeroed. I was shooting out to 700 and a thousand yards accurately hitting steel. Um, I can't say enough about these rifles. These rifles were really, really fun to shoot this week. So after being on the range and getting everything situated with the sighting in the rifles, shooting them out the distance, making sure everything was good, really getting our dope for this new cartridge, this new rifle that we're just shooting. I mean, immediately Trent was like, let's get out and do some hunting. So. Adam and I, the camera guy, like headed out with Trent. We also had miles from Hornaday. We started looking around, and I mean, I, I think within 15, 30 minutes, we were seeing all dead. Just all use, huh? Yeah, I'm seeing rams. But just couldn't find a quote mature ram. So we just found a pretty good ram. He's way up in this basin right here, up on this uh, kind of cliff edge. It's like 1,200 yards away right now, but it's the second ram that we've seen. We've been out for, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. We've probably seen 12 or 15 sheep so far. That ram was deemed to be a little small. There's a few ewes up there as well, but we're gonna keep looking, just not, not old enough yet. Kept riding and went way far back in the back edge of this ranch. As we went back along kind of the deeper part of the ranch in, in these very big canyons and, and cliff faces, we finally spotted some sheep up high on a mountain. Rock and roll. Found some big rams. Chasing views. They're just kind of just starting to rut right now. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they're just kind of starting to rut this time of year. It's the last week of September. And Trent found some good rams. So we're gonna try to get closer, get a better look. So we make this big loop, drop down to the creek bottom, come back up. As we're getting closer, I think we're at 500 yards or so, these two rams have gotten together and now they're starting to push each other around. 
we kind of move up a little bit closer, I think that we finally got to about 400, 425 yards, something like that. And these rams start fighting. I mean, they're headbutting. They're pushing each other around. This whole time, I'm just trying to get into the best shooting position possible so that once that these rams break up, I, you know, I can make a really good shot. They finally break up. One kind of runs off to the left. The other one kind of chases him. They're running around and, and I'm just following the whole way. Finally, this ram stops broadside. I think he was 390 yards, something like that. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, he's done. And I don't think that he made 50 yards and started to make a tumble. I got a ram down. Pretty good one. I think I'm ready to go put my hands on him, but that was awesome. Like, just to watch those rams fight for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Just so cool. You know, we're all high five and hooting and holler and excited about this, and, and but I don't think we really knew how big of a ram I just killed. Kind of figure out exactly where he is, walk up to him. And as I put my hands on that ram, I was just like, this dude is a giant. He's got like a giant. Is it? Yeah, that's a I mean, I can tell he's a good ram. I just. You know, I've never seen one of these things before up close. I mean, heck, before today, I'd never seen one in person in my life. You can see he's got nothing, no gap. Yeah, he's got absolutely no gap. And just all, oh, look at that. It's all like busted off there. Heck yeah. Dude, that's awesome. It's heavy too. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. That's so cool. We ended up taping him out and he's right at about 34 and a quarter, 34 and a half, something like that. Extremely heavy with mass. He's not broomed off at all. Thing. You can see these chips and just where, I mean, this, this old ram has been fighting throughout the years. Just absolutely incredible. So we get the ram, do some photos, get him taken care of, and we start headed back and, and actually found a couple more sheep took a look at him, but just nothing that um, was of that caliber. So we're looking at Miles and we're like, we're gonna get you a ram tomorrow. So the next day we go out and again, Miles is with us. You know, we're like, it's time to get you a ram, buddy. So this morning we're out with David, which is Trent's dad, but just trying to find a sheep. We've seen a lot of other animals, mule deer, out of snakes few other critters, no sheep yet. We go way back on this other part of the ranch that I'd never been on, come back into this bowl, and there are sheep everywhere across this hillside. I mean, and when I say everywhere, there had to be 200 plus sheep in this one, you know, basin. You know, after David and Trent kind of talked a little bit, uh, Trent's like, I know how we can get on those sheep. We're gonna come in, from the back side of them, come up over the top and find exactly where they're at and try to make a shot from above them. And I think that in the confusion and everything, unfortunately, we were not able to get that shot on camera. It happened just so fast as those sheep were just moving around. Away. I see blood, getting wobbly, he's getting wobbly, he's down. Miles makes a great shot on this downhill angle, kills just a very, very nice ram. I think his was like right at around 31 yeah. inches. Well, Miles, congrats, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good ram. Heck good yeah. job, dude. Yeah, we, we had to work for this one. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Miles dropped a hammer, it was what? 300, just around, 300 around, around 300, 300, yeah, about a 30 degree down angle. Yes, Trent got us in position, that was awesome. Um, and one shot and he went down and we're gonna get this thing taken care of and 
we're gonna go back up over the mountain to get back to the polar lake. So, and 30 minutes of yeah, daylight. <laughs> without 30 minutes of daylight left. So, congrats again, dude. Yeah, that, that was awesome. Uh, thanks, uh, Trent. Seven yeah. PRC is doing a lot of work. This oh yeah, week. just yeah. It turned out to be totally devastating on, on these animals. Uh, had a lot of a lot of punch to them. And I think it's really going to perform well for anybody, uh, especially North American big game and, and really big game across the world. As long as, as long as you pick the right bullet for the job, I think this is going to be a, a really solid performer on game.